हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्ट फिनोमेना दैट इज थर्मल कंडक्शन मींस ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ एनर्जी लेट्स बिगिन व्हाट इज थर्मल कंडक्शन कंडक्शन ऑफ हीट थ्रू ए गैस इज ए मॉलिकुलर प्रोसेस व्हाट इज दैट ऑफ मॉलिकुलर प्रोसेस The molecules in hotter regions of gas have greater average energies than those of closer regions, and thus losing this excess of energy. Excess of energy means the energy of hotter regions. So they lose energy. Thus, losing this excess of energy by imparting to the colder molecules. With which they collide. Colder molecules have lower average energies as comparison to that of hotter regions of gas. So hotter regions of gas lose their energies in the process as imparting to that of colder molecules with which they collide. Thus, the thermal conduction. is a transport of energy resulting from molecular motions thermal conduction is that a process through which transport of energy takes place as a result of what molecular process this is a basic basic idea towards thermal conduction now we mathematically derive how thermal conduction for that of transport of energies in an ideal gas to derive that let us consider mass of the gas is at rest we take the coordinate plane as O, X, Z, Y. This is the Z axis. Here we consider the mass of the gas is at rest. Mass of the gas is at rest. The line. Take the line AB. CD. LM. With the three horizontal planes in the gas, so that temperature increases. as we grow from ab to cd here is the plane passing through that of ab plane passing through that of lm and plane passing through that of cd this is the plane passing through that of these three horizontal lines so the temperature the temperature here as we compare to the regions lm is lower gradually the temperature increases as we proceed from ab to cd this means that gas above the plane lm if we take this is the plane lm the gas above the plane lm this is the above the plane lm this is the gas at lower that of plane lm above the plane lm the gas has average temperature this is the the gas above lm has higher temperature 
this is the higher temperature as we compare to the lower region this is the lower portion is the lower temperature temperature comparison between upper and lower region of lm let the planes ab and cd these two planes ab and cd at a distance of lambda from that of intermediate plane the distance between these two is lambda these two also lambda that is the mean free path also thus kinetic energies of thermal agitation of gas molecules above that of plane lm is greater than the kinetic energies of thermal agitation of the gas molecules below that of plane lm so here that upper region what we have in upper region we write it for upper region what happens thermal agitation thermal agitation thermal agitation this is the kinetic energy of the thermal agitation is more for lower temperature region means that region thermal agitation is less again what happened here as you take the thermal agitation taking into consideration so there will be a continual transfer of more energetic molecules downward since that region is less thermal agitation the number of molecules towards downward through that of plane lm and less energetic molecules upward across lm more energetic molecules downward less energetic molecules upward this is the more energetic molecules more energetic molecules downward this is the less energetic molecules with the less energetic molecules upward across that of plane lm thus there is a net transfer of energy downward to that of plane lm that is the temperature of the gas above that of ab is falling while that of below rising in other words we can say the gas is conducting heat downward across lm causing an equality of temperature through that of whole mass so in this way the conduction means the transport of energies performed through that of plane lm now we mathematically derive here let small n the number of molecules 
molecules power unit volume c bar to average velocity due to thermal agitation thermal agitation due to thermal agitation what happened this is the average velocity due to thermal agitation with which they are constantly moving in all directions and again as we studied in case of viscosity the total number of gas molecules the total number of gas molecules are in that of system as we take that of coordinate system here suppose one third of the molecules are moving in each three directions parallel to three coordinate axis how much number of particles moving in y directions how much number of particles moving in x direction and how much number of particles are moving in z direction that is the one third of the total number of gas molecules are moving but if we take how much number of gas molecules are move parallel to any one of the axis that is the one sixth of that number so here we write on the average on an average on an average One sixth of molecules move parallel to the plane LM parallel to pa parallel to any one of the axes parallel to any one axis is one particular direction therefore the number of molecules crossing the plane lm upward or downward per unit area per second that is n C bar divided by six. This is the number of molecules crossing the plane LM upward or downward per unit area per second. As you take that concept into consideration, on an average, one sixth of the molecule move parallel to any one axis is one particular direction. Axis in one particular direction now let e the energy of each molecule energy of each molecule in plane lm the molecules as in that of plane lm each molecules have the energy be and d by dz that is the energy gradient d by dz that is the energy gradient energy gradient 
means rate of change of energy with distance that the energy gradient in this in this case the energy gradient in upward direction in upward direction which is perpendicular to lm which is perpendicular to lm then energy of each molecule are the plane cd if here we take energy of each molecule in that of plane lm then at that of plane ab the energy will be e minus lambda times d by dz and at cd plane it will be e plus lambda times d by dz the energy of the molecules at the plane lm the energy of the molecules at the plane ab this is the energy of the molecules at the plane cd just we write here energy of each molecule at the plane cd is equal to e plus lambda times de by dz where lambda is the mean free path lambda that is the mean free path again nrc of each molecule at the plane ab is equal to e minus lambda de by dz e minus lambda de by dz therefore the energy carried downward by the molecules crossing the plane lm per second from that of plane cd that is the net energy of each molecule at the plane cd so taking that concept we have the energy carried energy carried downward by the molecules crossing unit area of the plane lm per second from the plane cd is equal to that is 1 by 6 nc bar into that of e plus lambda d by dz taking that concept we have energy carried down by the molecules crossing unit area of the plane lm per second from that of plane cd how much number of molecules pass from cd then how much number of molecules pass lm from ab again using that concept the energy similarly we take here similarly the energy carried energy carried upward by the molecules crossing 
unit area of the plane LM per second from the plane AB AB is equal to that is 1 by 6 n c bar c bar into e minus lambda d by dz that is e minus lambda d by dz by taking these two equations that equation and that equation so we get the net energy transform so here we calculate the net energy transformed therefore the net energy transformed downward per unit area of the plane LM per second is equal to 1 by 6 N C bar into E plus lambda D by DZ minus 1 by 6 N C bar E minus lambda D by DZ simplifying that term you have 1 by 3 N C bar lambda D by DZ 1 by 6 N C bar E that is the minus term so that term cancel out so 2 times of that quantity so 2 by 6 is equal to 1 by 3 N C bar lambda D by DZ here but we know but we know E at the energy so that the heat energy of a molecule heat energy of a molecule so heat energy of that molecule can be calculated as m c v t where c v that is the specific heat at constant volume and t be the absolute temperature therefore the net energy transformed downward across that of area that equation that equation can be changed as we write here therefore equation 1 can be written as And be written as the net energy transformed downward for unit area of that flail. Here, uh, what we write, just put the values of here. That value can be put here. What we have? That is 1 by 3 n c bar lambda d by dz of e m c v t is equal to 1 by 3 m c bar lambda c v d t by dz therefore 
द कोफिशेंट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी द कोफिशेंट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी के विच इज डिफाइंड एज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर दैट इज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर पर यूनिट एरिया इन वन सेकेंड the temperature gradient to the temperature gradient here quantity of heat transfer for unit area in one second 1 by 3 m c bar lambda cv dt by dz divided by temperature gradient dt by dz is equal to 1 by 3 m here a term n here m n c bar lambda cv that is the coefficient of thermal conductivity k now put the value of lambda here That is one by three m n c bar c b into the value of lambda one by root two pi d square n. On simplification, that value will be one by three root two m. C bar C B divided by pi d square one n one n cancel out. This is what this is K. The thermal the coefficient of thermal conductivity. As we compare that equation to the coefficient of viscosity, comparing The coefficient of viscosity is that that is m c bar divided by three root two pi d square. We have k by itta is equal to c b. K by itta is equal to c b. Is the ratio of coefficient of thermal conductivity to the coefficient of viscosity we get specific heat at constant volume so with the help of this video lecture we understand one type of transport phenomena that is thermal conduction means transport of energy what is thermal conduction how thermal conduction is takes place means the mechanism of thermal conduction here is the mechanism and how mathematically we treat all these things this is the mathematical derivation of that can be written this by taking this into account and the coefficient of thermal conductivity के वन बाय थ्री रुट टू एम सी बार सी बी डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव डी स्क्वायर आज कंपेयरिंग इट टू कोफिशेंट ऑफ विस्कोसीटी वी गेट द रेसियो ऑफ दिस टू इज इक्वल टू ए कंस्टेंट सी बी सो विथ इज यूजफुल आन इंटरफ्यू नोट्स लेट मी वाइंड ऑफ दिस सेशन थैंक यू